Assalamu alaikum, peace be on you. Now today what I'm going to be talking about is the last sermon of Prophet Muhammad. The reason for this is because this was close to Prophet Muhammad's death. Unfortunately it was uh, in a literal sense as well. So he was uh, giving out his last uh, sermon during the ninth day of Dhul Hajj, um, which is the pilgrimage which we Muslims do. So, in brief, I'll be saying the f reading out the first section, which is, "O oh, people, lend me an attentive ear, for I know not whether after this year I shall ever be amongst you again. And therefore, listen to what I am saying to you very carefully, and take these words to those who could not be present here today." So, this message I am passing on to everybody. Okay. So the next section, which is highlighted, it talks about being fair. Be fair to people. That's what it's basically saying. Now the next section which is saying again, it elaborates a bit further, saying be fair, treat others like you would treat yourself, because one day you're going to be accountable for your deeds in front of God on the day of judgment. And now the next section, which is talking about interest and usury, and interest and usury is forbidden. Things like, such as non-halal loans, people making money with money without any risk involved, like loan sharks and any normal banks do. It's forbidden in Islam. And it's simply because it increases um, poverty. And it does. Uh, it definitely does. If you go into detail, you'll find out. And next section is anything that you earn is yours, basically. So... This is pretty damn fair, which, you know, no doubt, without a doubt, is pretty good. And the next section after this is, talks about, you will neither inflict nor suffer any inequity. So, don't suffer, as well as that, be equal to other people. So, one of the main things I like about this is, do not suffer as well, so stand up for your own rights. And the next section is talking about being aware of Satan, if you're not religious and small crimes, vices, etc. Um, things like negativity which can, you know, lead you down the wrong path and destroy you internally. These are the type of things which actually um, can make a person uh, go down the wrong path and it's the accumulation which can cause the most harm some sometimes and this is what Prophet Muhammad is saying so keep away from that. The next section is talking about men must provide for the women um, and she has a right to be fed and clothed in kindness which is great for women. As well as that, it's talking about treating your women, your wives fairly and do not be immoral or impure. Now the next section it's basically just talking about the basic fundamentals of being a Muslim. Now, the next section, which is highlighted, is talking about men should treat each other like brothers, which, obviously, it can be difficult at times, but in general, we should all treat each other like brothers. And the next section is to be just. Now the next section is basically informing that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a last prophet. And two things are there for the help, which are the Holy Quran, the divine revelation from God, Allah, and the Sunnah, which is the Hadith, authentic Hadith from Prophet Muhammad which is Prophet Muhammad's teachings and his life examples so keep them close to you and you should not falter and the next section is basically to convey the message to everyone and if you notice it's saying convey the message and not force so after that that was the end of the final sermon and after this final sermon, a revelation came down to Prophet Muhammad, and which was 
chapter 5, verse 3 in the Holy Quran, which says, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my grace upon you, and have chosen Islam for you as your religion. And that was it. So, have a look at it yourself. And if you notice, the message is a pretty damn good message, isn't it, really? It's pretty self-explanatory and uh, to the point. So, that's it from me. Hopefully, you read it thoroughly if you want to. And you read upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And, God willing, you become Muslim, inshallah, one day. Ameen.